Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you've just seen, I decided to do a shopping vlog. I wasn't at all anticipating to do it. What it was is that I wanted to upload a video this Friday and I wasn't sure whether to do a review for it because I thought it would take too long and I wasn't in the right frame of mind to do a video review but um the book i wanted to review is the mask but yes based on the jim carrey movie don't worry i'm still going to be uploading that video it'll probably be coming out on monday but i was working in the morning today and 
I was thinking, do you know what? It would be kind of cool if I went up to my favorite comic book shop, which is called The Forbidden Planet. It is really big. It has two floors, the upstairs, has more figurines and clothes and all bits and pieces. And down in the basement, it has graphic novels, mangas and books. It has these designated sections for each of these things. And yeah, um, I'm just going to go and show you what I've got. I got three things. So I was walking around and I had a good look and I found three things. And I'm just going to go and show you what I've got. As I said, I wasn't anticipating on getting these, but I got them because they sounded interesting to me. And as you can see, they are all books. I have no idea where I'm going to put all these, but I'll find somewhere. So the first thing I found was this one, which is called Paranormal Stories, and it says here, Supernatural Tales and Unexplained Mysteries from Across the World by Jamie King. The cover leaves a lot to be desired. Let's actually be honest, it's a really, really rubbish cover. So, but yeah, what can you do? And I read the back of it and it includes ghosts, spirits, the undead, witchcraft, the occult, aliens and UFOs, legendary mythical creatures, zombies, werewolves and vampires, time travel and alternate realities. And it just gives you a little taste about what these things are. Ooh. Oh, I actually found the story about the Mothman. I I had no idea that this was in it. I was just scared. I was just flipping through and it came across Moth. And I was thinking no, but yeah, this is about Mothman. So Pax, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, <laughs> if you have been watching my channel for any amount of time, especially when I talk about any supernatural books that are based around re reality. Or supposedly did happen. I'm a skeptic, but this sounded really interesting to me. I'm not expecting it to be a masterpiece, but I am anticipating to be entertained by this. The next two books were on the Fear Street uh, series. I haven't read any of the original Fear Street novels, and yes, I do know that they were written by R.L. Stein and they were more based around teenagers or focus on a teenager market rather than what Goosebumps did in focusing on a more younger audience. And I still need to watch the Netflix series, but I'm, but I'm gonna watch it as soon as I can. So these, as you can see, they were a pound off and I thought, okay, why not give them a try? They bet there are, they are written by R.L. Stein and they seem really short and I thought, okay, I'll give them a try and see how I feel. I did read the synopsis on each of these books and yeah, um, they sounded interesting so I got them. So the first one is called The Perfect Date about a young man who is trying to get over the death of or the tragic death of his girlfriends and he's trying to move on and date other people but his ex is stalking him and all this weird stuff is happening yeah sounded interesting next one is called secret admirer you can't really see the title there well maybe you can this is as far as i'm aware about a young girl who is auditioning for these plays and she gets some letters from this mysterious admirer of hers and all these weird stuff happens afterwards so didn't sound as interesting as the perfect date but yeah i thought okay for a pound off you can't go wrong and you know see how see how i feel it's been a while since i've read anything by rl stein but fun fact the first book i ever read was a goosebumps book and I thought, okay, if these books aren't masterpieces, at least I can get some nostalgia from reading something from R.L. Stein. 
So that is what I got from Forbidden Planet. And as I was walking home, I was passing my, well, one of my favourite book uh, stores up in London. I wasn't at all planning to go into this shop, but I thought, okay, I'll go in there because they had the pride flag hanging outside and it's pride month. I thought I would go in there to see what they had with all these queer books to dip my toes into that area and to try to read more diversely. I didn't find anything that interested me in that section, which, okay, fair enough, I did try. But when I was looking in the horror section, I came across this, which sounded really interesting. It's called The Swallowed Man by Edward Carey, or Carey. I probably butchered his name. But this revolves around Geppetto and his experiences in the whale, or inside the whale, from Pinocchio. Yeah, and Pinocchio is mentioned in this book. And this just recounts the tales of what Geppetto did and how he felt while inside this belly of this whale. And you may be thinking, well, this doesn't sound that horrific and it's maybe a children's book. This mentions isolation, depression and anxiety that Geppetto actually went through. And it is illustrated, the, there are all these pictures in this book. I mean, some of them are like this and let me just, yeah, some photographs there and some marks on the page. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be blood. Let me see if I can find one of Pinocchio. See, there, there he is. Oh, there's one of the pictures of him. And as soon as you open the book, you are greeted by this monstrosity. I mean, if you show that to a kid or hell, if I wait, if I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw that, I think I would piss my pants. <laughs> yeah, uh, but um, this is really short. I did read the first paragraph or so in the shop. It did flow. It, it wasn't complex to understand. Oh my God, look at this. I mean, I do not know if Edwards drew all these illustrations or whether he got all these pictures and put them all into this book. But the artwork in it is so creepy. It goes from something like this, which is really childish, something which you would see in a Roald Dahl novel. And then it goes to something like this, which is pure nightmare fuel. I mean, look at that freaking thing. I do not know, when I saw this, I was thinking, I'm not sure. So I had to look on Goodreads and to see what people made of it and get the ratings, which I usually do if I can get a good Wi-Fi connection in the shop. And the ratings for this were from four to three stars. I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. So I picked it up and I thought, okay, well, I'll have a look to see what about how much it is on Kindle. So it was only about a two pound difference, roughly from getting the Kindle version to the paperback version. So I put it back. Then after a short amount of time, I picked it up and just said, what the hell? I am i do not know why I was drawn to this book, but I'm glad that I picked it up. And it will give me something easy to read before I go to bed because I'm really interested in reading this as soon as possible. So I'll probably be starting this one tonight and making my way slowly through it. So that's it guys, that is my little unexpected shopping vlog. Sorry if this section has gone on for too long. As I said, I wasn't expecting at all to do this type of video today. I just wanted to have something, I wouldn't say easy because for me doing shopping vlogs can be tricky. You need to make sure that you film enough footage in the store and now and about and all that type of stuff and edit it and make it look good. I haven't done many shopping vlogs. I've only done a few. I was planning to do one in the Forbidden Planet, which if you weren't familiar or you didn't know, they did a free comic book 
Day, which I did a whole video on it. I'll put it up here and the link will be down below in case you want to check that out. I didn't do any filming in the, sh in, you know, in the shop, but that's where I got my comics from. So I wanted to do a little shopping vlog in the Forbidden Planet. I was super conscious about not filming anyone's face directly. Of course, when I was filming, they, there was the high possibility that I caught someone's face in the distance. That was inevitable because the store was so busy. But for the most part, I was trying to be super, super respectful, not to film anyone's faces on purpose and to respect everyone's personal boundaries and not be a nuisance and you know, not getting getting on anyone's nerves. But hopefully you've been entertained by this video. Hopefully you haven't been bored about hearing me talk. So yeah, let me know if you have read any of these books. Let me know if you've watched the Fear Street Netflix series. Let me know also if you've read any of the original Fear Street novels, because I haven't. So that's really it, guys. That's all I had to say. That's all I had to show you guys. So with all that out of the way, have a great day. Read some awesome books. And I will see you all in my next video.